Greetings everyone, the good tonight here, and today we're going to be talking about gloves. To protect your little phalanges in your hands, because, uh, two hands, ten fingers, and a whole lot of small, easily broken bones. Also, you kind of have one very, very, very important finger that you want to protect and keep safe. So, I'm an expert, I, you can trust me, hands break very, very easily. So, with that in mind, gloves have kind of gone through a variety of different ideation of what we're trying to overall get done and stuff, so different things come out, came out and whatnot. I have a few um, gloves I've worked with specifically myself, and I've also got my good buddy Mythic throw out a bunch of uh, information on other gloves he's used and had uh, some useful insight for. So to get started with, let's talk about the hard knuckle gloves. Now hard knuckle gloves were particularly popular when I got in. These are the uh, Warrior Assault System gloves from the uh, Brit Bongs overseas. Overseas, and these are basically um, kind of what you would expect. We had the uh, Wiley X. I actually got a pair of those when I was enlisted that I picked up. Generally, enlisted side, you get the cold weather gloves and the big ol' or inserts and the big ol' heavy gloves on the outside. You have terrible mobility, your hands stay relatively warm, and those are your shooting gloves. You use that for all your issued purposes. And like most issued gear, they generally they suck. I most people don't care for them. I didn't care for them. Which is when I went and I got my Wiley X gloves. And I came in that nasty army green. It was a good time. Because you had the hard knuckle. And they were fire resistant. They had like built in Kevlar to help protect from uh, little cuts and things you could get. But pretty cool. So these ones are actually leather. But they're also got the Nomex built in. And they uh, where's the, where's my data sheet? Give me my cheat sheet. 52% Nomex and 48% genuine leather. So you can still... Lather these up and keep them safe with your leather thing. So, hard knuckle gloves. Obviously, if you're going through urban environments and stuff and you're having a... You don't want to bang your knuckles and stuff against things or maybe you played Serious Sam 3 way too much and you just saw that Serious Sam wore them and you're like, hey, cool! Those are some neat looking little gloves. The Serious Sam seemed like an interesting fellow. So, hard knuckle gloves. You lose a good deal of a... Uh, dexterity with these, but you get a bunch of points to armor defense. So you got your hard knuckles, naturally, and you got your uh, little bits over here that help protect the top of the fingers. And what these are great for is, well, A, punching fools, which is always something you should aspire to achieve. And uh, when, you put on when you put on gloves like these, you just really want to start going. It's one of those fun mental cognitive things, so bear that in mind. But ultimately, what you got is you, you lose the dexterity, which sucks, because you want to generally do things. But if something's on fire, you can pick it up. So if you're burning food in the kitchen, that's something you can do. And, uh, yeah. Um, and if you're going around buildings and stuff, which was the big thing in the early 2000s, something, something Middle East, going around buildings and stuff, you always have the chance that maybe you're going to bang your hand on something. And that could hurt. And uh, when you bang your hands and stuff, even if you don't bruise, uh, break bones and stuff, you're still going to get nasty bruises. And with the uh, tendons running through your arm here, that control your fingers. Well, I guess that's not a big issue. If you get hit here, that's going to hurt your fingers and stuff. But again, up here and stuff, where it can interfere with that whole tendon going through, that's going to make it difficult to move your fingers and have the uh, do the things you need to get done. However, trying to type on a keyboard with these is uh, nearly impossible and sucks. These are probably better made? I don't know. Maybe not better made, maybe that's not a word for it, but they're definitely a bit more dexterous than the uh, other gloves I was used to. So, you got the school gloves. They get hot fast though. Bear that in mind. If you have Nomex in hot environments, your hands are gonna sweat. So you're gonna be relying on these a lot for grip and durability. So if you need to climb ropes or do all that other stuff outside of Pew Pew that's related to Pew Pew, then these are pretty useful. So they're always good to have. Good to help keep your hands safe, and they got that nice leather feel. Leather Nomex smell, more Nomex than leather, so maybe not as sexy, but... Yeah, so... Hard knuckle gloves. They were like, the cool thing to do back in the day. But of course, time marches on, and we all get older. And... Things go on. So, nowadays, hard knuckle gloves aren't really in circulation as much. I'm sure a lot of people still use them because they have more of an older mentality like I like to try to keep. Probably shouldn't, but 
You stick with what you know, okay? It worked before, why wouldn't it work now? And then you get... Your computer tries to stab you, so... Those are the cool thing back in the day. They're still pretty cool. I still like them, but what a lot of people are using nowadays is going to be your boy, Mechanics. So Mechanics gloves, they have a few. The most immediate thing I'm going to say is they added these little ring tabs here so you can keep them together and put them on a little hook or something. Very important. As you can tell, the uh, Warrior Salt System ones didn't have them, and the old uh, Wiley X gloves I had didn't have them. But the Wiley X... We're a bit cooler than ventilation, but the problem I ran into is the Wiley X gloves. With the Kevlar and stuff, having to, with heavy use and everything, they start to fall apart pretty quickly. And that happens to a lot of gloves. Gloves just don't last. So, mechanics gloves. Gloves designed to, uh, well, for mechanics, to do mechanical things. So, you're looking at hot environments, lots of gears and stuff spinning around. Not too many issues of beating up your hands and stuff. But of course, you're going to drop a wrench and stuff here and there. These gloves, of course, they went tactical pretty quickly. You got the little padding here. This is a lot softer, not hard knuckle, but more of a soft knuckle defense sort of system going on. You pop these open. And these ones have a good chunk of uh, heat resistance, but they're not uh, fire retardant. These will burn. So don't use these in the kitchen. But they are heat resistant, so if you're working on a hot engine, these will help keep your hands safe. So they keep minor burns and stuff like that at bay, whereas the Warrior Salt System ones we do a lot more. So, key benefits is way more dexterity, and that's not just because I wore these in from a lot of hard use. They have a very good palm protection, a little bit of pod pad padding and stuff there. They do free up the trigger finger and keep that uh, nice and ventilated. You got this uh, protective pad here. But yeah, this is more in the interest of, or design of uh, wrenches and stuff falling and banging into your hand, but that still gives you decent protection. So again, if you're out there and you're doing things, you smack your hand on something, bit of a tingle, but not bad enough to take your hand out of the fight, because that would suck to smack with a bare hand, so. Fire resistant, well not really fire resistant, heat resistant, big difference. Yeah, that's actually, you can tell these ones got a good chunk of use on them, so. They held up, these held up pretty nicely. And the big thing is they're like 20, 30 bucks, depending on where you're shopping. So they're cheap gloves. You get like three or four pairs of these, and you're basically set for the next year or so of heavy use. Sweat through them, get them all nasty. Don't wash them properly, which is why they're all faded on the palm. But it keeps the mold at bay, and you're going to get places. You got the nice little ventilation stuff. So these are like the more popular ones. I still see a lot of Marines nowadays buying a bunch of these and uh, going ham. So these are a decent medium glove. And these are like the really popular things. So, this is more of the uh, modern stuff that we moved away from the hard knuckle gloves. So, a lot less fire retardant stuff going on, but pretty fantastic stuff. So that in mind, those are gloves designed for mechanics. And I also got the one with I ended up getting a pair of uh, ironclad exo gloves. To uh, compare it to the, um, whatchamacallit, the mechanics gloves. And these also kind of have a similar mentality. I might as well tell you about these because I got them here. So these ones are a similar mentality. They don't have the pull tabs, which makes me sad. They've got the uh, padding on the knuckle. Not really as much. It's kind of awkward. Got your free finger. These are a bit uh, stiffer. And the padding on the palms is open. And not as well designed, I don't think. More of a leather grain here. So a bit more leather work. But they also got this terry cloth on the back. They're like, oh, that's so you can wipe away sweat, so... If you're using gloves for hard work, your gloves are probably going to be really nasty, and you're not going to want to wipe any part of your body with that. In fact, if you could keep some type of rag or towel in your cargo pocket, that's going to be the preferred way to get sweat out of your eyes and stuff, so... But an interesting thing, so the idea is sticking, obviously. Other companies are trying to copy what mechanics has got going, or maybe they came out with it first. I haven't looked that far into it, so... I'm sure we'll find out in the near future. So this is another sort of glove idea they came out with. But then you've got gloves that are really designed for shooting. And uh, shooting very well. So you got the pigs. I did a review on the pigs before, but these ones have the very, very nice paracord tacked into there. So you can keep these together. Pop that open. And these ones are made out of polyester, nylon, and spandex. Designed in USA and made in Vietnam. You can't just make them in America, can you? You always gotta, always gotta do that to me. Can't let me be happy. So you throw these on, these fit very tight. 
and they're very soft, very comfortable. They don't have any uh, knuckle protection stuff on them, so that's something to bear in mind. But these are all about staying cool, and uh, well, they're kind of called the full dexterity gloves for a reason. You have full dexterity, touchscreen capability, you got vents to keep the sweat out, got the cool, uh, there's a little bit of padding on the knuckles. So it's even softer, like polyester, whatever padding, very, very soft padding. So I'm not as, I'm not as excited to do it this time around, but actually, you know what? That's fine. It's got enough padding to protect your knuckles, like just enough to take all the uh, oomph out of that hit. So enough padding to keep your knuckles safe. You got a soft little material. Ooh, that feels nice. Soft little material on the thumbs and stuff, I think there's like sheepskin or whatever it's supposed to be. I'm sure it was in the ingredients and it's not sheepskin, but very full dexterity. And the benefit here is although these gloves are a lot thinner, and I've heard a lot of people say they don't hold up nearly as well, you have that full dexterity and that little bit of protection you need to keep your hands safe. So that means you're not going to have any issues going from pew 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 to, oh hey, there's a computer, let's without taking the gloves off, which you would have a diff more difficult time with the mechanics and almost an impossible time with the warrior assault systems. So this is kind of like the very, very modern go-to glove. Um, I do think the quality is much, much better than the mechanics, and they're also relatively close to the same price point, so... You get a lot more out of this than the other one, so it's an option for you. So, ultimately, in my opinion, if you want to be really more old school, then you got the hard knuckles, but I do think they are getting a good deal dated. So if you have hard knuckle gloves, great. Run until they break. But when you're looking at getting a new pair of gloves, I'm still rooting for the pigs because I haven't had these ones. Well, they're not nearly as worn as the mechanics, so I haven't tri got them tried and true. But when they do wear, wear out, I'll probably end up getting another pair. We'll see how long out that is. But they're comfy. They work well in the heat. Well, hot environment. I'm not touching any hot things here, but... Yeah, so those are pretty cool. And as far as what my good buddy Mythic here had to say, he's got, I got stuff up over here. Let's see, he's, um, let's see, patrol incident gear, pigs, what's these? Oh, apparently these are heat resistant too. Oh, and airborne. <laughs> Not like airborne disease or the airborne spray, but you, you get the idea. Mechanics, he also mentions, so that's cool. Wily X, well, it's Oakley and Magpul. And I guess you would throw the warrior salsas, and they got the protection, so. Better protection than these, but these ones are running pretty well. Uh, oh, outdoor research. Outdoor research was something we were actually issued. That was fantastic for cold weather. Apparently they have heat resistance, too. But, yeah. Outdoor research. We, we used those up in Korea back in January. It was nice and cold, so those are pretty fantastic gloves. I wouldn't mind having a pair of those, except... I'm in Okinawa, and it's never going to get cold enough to justify those, so... Maybe someday! Uh, first tactical, cold weather. Okay, I haven't used first tactical, but that's his input. I want to give him some credit there, so... Cool information. These ones are definitely... The pigs are definitely my favorite. They would be my first recommendation. But if you don't like the pigs, and you want to get something that's widely available and easily accessible, you got the mechanics. And yeah, that's more or less the entirety of the uh, glove story. So if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Let me know in the comments below. Do my best to answer any of those. And yeah, I didn't know these had padding here until I like really banged my hand. So cool stuff. Um, cheers, and I'll see you guys in the next videos. These are so comfy. Bye-bye.